Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope that you are doing well, that you're enduring, that your nerves are not frayed, and that the stress level is not too high. You know, it's eerie, the picture that we see going on, the events that are taking place that we have no control over. Or do we? We'll get into that. The thing is, there's people out there that are doing really evil and obnoxious and bad things. You know, evil must not win. It must not. Love is the answer. We know that peace is our hope. It's the only hope we have. Love has got to be our foundation. Now look around you at all the people. People everywhere. Whether you're in a grocery store, shopping, walking down a street, driving in a car, going to work, going to school, sitting in a park, sitting by a river. Look around you at all the people. And I mean really look. Don't look at the color of skin or the clothing that they wear. Look at their eyes. Look at the person. Two arms, two legs. Perhaps one arm, two legs. No arms, two legs. Two arms, no legs. Doesn't matter. Look at the person. Look in their eyes. Can you see that we are all the same? Each and every one of us. We all have an investment in this world. The people around you are just like you. Just like you. Just like me. Look in a child's face. Really look at a child's face. Look into their eyes. What is it that you see? Can you see that we are all in this together? Why can't we just drop the hate, the bitterness, the grudges, the superiority? For we truly are the same and each of us is in this now together. We need to love one another, care, share, bring the vibration up. But this world makes it very hard to do that. It makes us dislike each other, see faults in each other, and not get along. I mean, <laughs> evil's everywhere. Darkness. It doesn't want us to love one another or to care about each other or to share or work together. Because that's on the light side. The side of light. And evil, well, it knows that it cannot survive in the light. We can win this time. We certainly can. If we, number one, wake up, you know, to the fact that we have to see what's really going on around us. We have to see it. Oh, it's scary. It's very scary. None of us really want to see it. We don't want to see the boogeyman. The evil faces hidden in plain view right up in our face. Right up in front of us. Faces of those who mean to take over our world and destroy, destroy all that is good and right. 
damn straight it's scary. And we're afraid. We are. We're afraid. However, it is time that we move above that fear. Knowing fear and yet not buckling under the weight of fear. Right now that fear is hard to even hear, let alone watch and know the truth is very, very heavy. So heavy that in fact many people deny the truth and hate the truthers. Those who devote time and life to finding truth because they know that knowing is really is it knowing is what we have to have we have to know what's happening around us we can't just ignore it knowing is our power that's what truthers do i mean how many of you mothers and fathers can actually look into the faces of your children when uh you're not able to pay the bills. You can't make ends meet. You can't put food on the table. You're stressed out to the max. You can't take them to the park. You can't have a family picnic. You can't take them to the fast food joint for a, a treat, a milkshake, a hamburger, an ice cream cone. How can you look in their faces when you're not able to make ends meet and find it easy to smile? When you know that the very air that your precious children are breathing very well may be killing them because of an agenda to depopulate the world. Yes, the air that your children are breathing. Knowing that your child may be dying before your eyes. A slow, calculated death. Then say to yourself, well, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Can you look into your child's eyes and say that? Can you look into your child's eyes and say, go outside and play? Uh, if you start coughing, if the air is, is really bad, uh, it's okay, honey. You'll be okay. Come on in. You know, mommy can't fix that or daddy can't fix that. Maybe you're one of the many that, irregardless of all the proof everywhere around you, I mean, all the truthers and all the people that do the research and, and put up these videos, you know, that you still deny that there's a dark force that's trying to eliminate all of us and take over. Do you seriously think that what is happening around you is okay or normal? Do you see all of this as normal? If you do, then apologize right now to your children. You get in there and you apologize to them for your own ignorance. You explain to them why you didn't give a damn enough to get past your own fear. Your ignorance. Because this is not normal and it's not right. It is, however, very dark and evil. And right now, it's in full control running like blood down the very street your wholesome little house is on. No matter where you live. If something is not done, if we do nothing, our wholesome little street could be like Syria. As soon as today. Oh, it certainly could. And if you wonder what I'm talking about, Get away from mainstream media. 
go and do your own research on what's really happening in Syria. Check out the video, Syria in Ruins. Yeah, it's right in front of your house. Sitting right in front of your car, your house with the engine running. Waiting for the right moment to beat down your door. Unless, of course, you die first from the poisons in your air, your food, water. The additives that they want you and your children, grandchildren, and pets to ingest. GMO foods, fluoridated water, chemicals in the sky, uh, the fallout from them, radiation, and let us not forget fracking chemicals in the waterways, and HARP for mind control, among many other things, such as senseless wars. There is more proof than not that these evil beings are not human or at least not a hundred percent human, that they are perhaps fallen angels or transhuman or artificial intelligence. The gene pools have been set up to create a mixed human being, mixed human being that has uh, maybe alien genes of despicable, despicable loathing of humans. We earth dwellers way out there, right? <laughs> way out there. Well, I'll tell you what, I choose to believe that these people controlling and working to destroy our lives are not human. Yeah, you heard me right. This way I can stay sane and seeing and hearing all this junk, this, this horrible stuff day after day. I do not accept that they are human at all. I see them as alien mixes taken out of some gene pool and altered because we all know that humans have compassion, love, and spiritual conscience that would prevent them doing the evil things that we're seeing. These beings in the administration, in the planes above us, in all areas of our world, cannot possibly be real humans. Even our senators and Congress those who find it so easy to vote a sick law such as NDAA into law, knowing that it will do nothing but destroy. And that it will be the fall of good people. It is very bizarre and frightening. <laughs> And way, way out there. I mean, off the charts of normal for me to make a statement like that. I mean, aliens. In fact, it's way beyond our normal thinking that that could possibly be real. Right? There are no aliens. No clones of Obama or any of the others. Bush. No aliens from other worlds. No, that can't be. That's just not normal. And the Bible did not, or does not teach us that, does it? Well, there's some people that would say scriptures do teach that. But we don't translate them properly or completely. Maybe we don't want to. We don't want to know that kind of stuff. It's easier for us to just turn away and say, that's just bull droppings. Droppings wasn't the word I was going to say. It is in no way true. No way. That can't be. No. Yeah. Yeah, my friends, family. It's much easier to pull the sheet or blanket up over our eyes and pretend that we do not see the boogeyman or the thing in the closet. Don't feel alone if you're thinking that I, I've fallen off the wagon or, or I mean the beat truck or uh, 
never been on the wagon, guys. Uh, but don't think that you're alone if you're thinking that I'm not, sir. You know, that this is way, way, way too far out there to be real. I'm sure many do. But it is like trying to understand Manson's reasoning. We can't because we're good and kind and loving. These things, human or not, whatever they are, have no consciences. They are empty and evil as evil can be, hollow of the love and ability to feel compassion that we feel. What they do and are planning to do is way out of our realm of thinking, way out of anything that we can imagine. So it's hard for us to grasp that this time that we're in truly is the twilight zone. It is. The twilight zone is our now. I do ask before I leave this video that you consider some very, very important things. This action that has been put into play by the Obama administration to take troops into Syria is another big, big, big mistake. What in the world, my friends and family? This is way over the red line, as Linda said. We have got to get our priorities straight. We have had enough wars, and the involvement in other countries' wars and disagreements. We've had enough, absolutely enough. Look at our national deficit. Look at all the things that are taking place. The cuts, the cuts for the Americans. And they're going out to another war. They're taking our men and women into another country again. Jumping into the Syrian civil war is like <sighs> absolutely spitting in our faces. I believe that them doing this is to take our sights and minds off of the scandals and the crimes committed by the administration. They were sitting on the hot seat. They had to take a drastic move. We had them pinned in the corner like a cat with a mouse. So they had to take a drastic move to get our minds off of the crimes that they've committed against humanity and against us. Plain and simple. Don't fall for any of it. We must not let this garbage continue. I've said it many times. I was born in 1952. All I have seen in my lifetime to date is one war following another. There is constantly a war in the process or one in the making. Never have the wars benefited the United States or any other country, let alone the people of the world. Not in any way, shape, or form. No one has benefited from these wars except those who set the game in motion. We must demand peace. This nonsense has to stop. How many billions are going to be spent on this war now? How many of our men and women in uniform are going to be killed this go-around? How many innocent children this time? How dare they? How dare they? We must stand in unity, people. We must stand in unity together like a fine-lubed gear and demand an end to all wars. This is a political thing. It's all political. And it's nonsense at best. Just political nonsense playing out in a killing field where the common people mean nothing. Wake up. Turn the TV off. Get on here and make videos. Let's demand change. And remember, six days until the 21st of June. Six days. 
Be sure and plan ahead for that day. And on that Friday, do nothing, spend nothing, buy nothing. Just remove yourselves from the system for one whole day. This is our beginning. But on this war thing, we need ideas, friends and family. We need to get our heads together and we need to do it fast before their agenda is met. It's all a plan. We don't want it here. I love you all. Great big hugs and I'm sorry if I'm yelling. But enough is enough. We need to unite. Teach our children by action rather than lack of action that we give a damn and their lives might, just might, be better. Thanks, guys.